Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you haven't watched me before, hello, my name is Diane, I'm a mum of seven and nana of ten and this is just a quick Wilco uh, haul today, about 12 items that I've got, just bits and pieces for the garden and for the house, so I'm going to quickly get onto it because my phone is acting up a lot and keeps cutting off while I'm recording, so I'm going to get through this as quick as I can without blithering on, because if you've watched my previous videos, you know I like to blither on. Anyway, these are just some pink boxes, pink plastic boxes, um, a little bit bigger than shoe size, um, shoe box size rather. This is for under my kitchen sink. Um, basically under there has got tools, DIY bits, cleaning products and everything. So this is just to organise that. Maybe one for DIY products, one for tools, bits and bobs, such screwdrivers and screws. And that other for cleaning products like cloths, you know, sponges, sprays and things like that. I have like family and friends come in and help me like kind of decorate or do bits and pieces in the house and they'll go where can I find this and I'm always going yet yeah, under the sink <laughs> and under the sink's always a nightmare so just in front of me down on the floor is the other box again with Wilco's lots of cardboard paper so not very exciting I am just Wilco's own basic roller and tray does a job for a small room to be honest, it wouldn't last more than really one day, but then for about £1.25, I think this is what you expect. It does a job for me, so it's fine. That's just to paint the whole way. Got some pink Dove soap. Yep, uh, to be honest, I only really got it because I like Dove and it's pink. I like the colour pink. <laughs> so, how sad is that? I bought, I bought pink Dove just because it was pink. But I love Dove, so, yep. Again, just Wilco's own basic brushes. I think these are a pound fifty-four. If I'm correct, the receipt that I've got in front of me doesn't um, tell me how much they are. So I think these are about a pound fifty-four anyway. Basic brushes. I have no issues with it with them. They're nice and soft. But you get one, two, three, four, five in a packet and do the job. And I've done lots of decorating lately. So yeah. Oh, excuse me. I keep bending down. Got Wilco complete with tuna, salmon, and vegetables. This is obviously for the cat, not for me. <laughs> this is for my cat Shadow. Not tried it with these. She does have some problems with some um, dry foods. She can't have. Um, she used to be able to have Go Cat for about a year, and then all of a sudden she like get really sick on it. She can't have whiskers. She gags and brings that up. Um, so far, she can only have one that's out of Asda. It's about five pound for a little bag. It's like really, really tiny bits. So I thought I'd try, try with these because she's quite good on all the other Wilco's food products. So these are soft kibble kibbles. Help maintain muscle tone, strong bones, white crunchy kibbles. While crunchy kibbles, sorry. Help maintain healthy teeth and gums. Soft and crunchy. And as I said, this is a tuna, salmon and vegetables. And I think this was about £2.50 a bag. And as you can see, it's quite a big bag. It's quite heavy. It's 800 grams. So yeah. So that's good for her. Can't wait to give that a go. Now I've got some artificial flowers in here. Not to everybody's taste, but I've been putting these in my garden because one, I'm no good at keeping real plants. I've not done too bad this year. I've actually kept I've actually if I've done a video of my garden, um, which I might add on tomorrow. I've actually done not bad at keeping real flowers, but um, I have a few cats that keep coming into the garden and digging up and doing their business and everything. So I thought I'd get artificial ones. And to be honest, in my front garden where I put lots of artificial flowers, they do actually look real. So I quite like these. I didn't pay more than, I think it was £2 or £2.50 for any of these artificial flowers. And I think they're rather nice. They're either like sitting in a little pot. I have got some pink pots again. Yes, pink. Some pink pots that I got from, I think it might be Wilco's or B&M, last year that I haven't used, so I'm going to use them. And this is the Carnation and Freesia Bright Mix. So yeah, they look quite real. So I quite like them, so yeah, obviously the Wilco stickers label is going to come off, and they're going to go on a plant, or actually straight into the ground. The ones out I've got outside the front door, I've just put straight into the ground. So yeah, that's them. Then this is another set of artificial flowers. I absolutely love these. These are really nice. These are the mixed flower bush white. Aren't they nice? 
I think they're really quite realistic in a, in a way. Obviously, they're plastic, do you know what I mean? But if you're like far away and these were just planted, planted in a nice plant pot or in the ground, you wouldn't know that they were fake. Maybe you would. Maybe you would, but I like them anyway. Again, quite cheap. No more than £2.50 for the bunch, so quite cheap. Again, these are going to go out in the garden. And another little bunch. Oh, these ones are a bit... Oh, this one's a bit worse for wear. Hello. <laughs> I think these ones have got slightly crushed. These have got... um like fake gypsum in it as well this is called flower bush cream and yellow and it's just basically meant to look like little cheap daisies this one i think would have been like a little cheapy one maybe one pound 20 or one pound 50. nothing fancy but again just for outside either in the front garden or the back garden just to make it look a little bit cheery all year round although i think i need to cut this one off now <laughs> it's kind of a bit droopy it looks how I feel just now. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. Yeah, there we go. I think they look quite nice. And again, I think this is the last bunch of flowers and then one or two more items. Again, this is just another flo uh, small one. This is the Gypsophilia White Bush. So yeah, very, very pretty. I love this. Very, very pretty. Now, this is not going to go just in by itself. This will go along with something else. Like, it's kind of, is that the same one? Yeah, it is the same one, I think. Together, or it would maybe go in behind like these. Might get some more. Like I had these together like in a plant pot. There you go. See, it looks quite nice. Or maybe my droopy daisy. <laughs> <laughs> like to go in behind it, spread it out a little bit. Something like that. That droopy one does look a bit awful, doesn't it? That kind of spoils it, that one. But these are really, really nice, as you can see. Quite pretty, quite realistic, very nice. Again, those that would have been, I think, one pound fifty for that one, or one twenty-five even. Yep, absolutely love that one. And then I've got, guess what colour? Yes, pink. It, and it's got on it, enjoy the moments, as you can see on this tin. This is just to go in the kitchen, just sit on the side in the kitchen. I was watching um, Leslie Ann Sparkle. She's got in her is it a kitchen or a dining room. She's got like a little white jug at the back with some flowers in. And that gave me the idea to get a jug myself. And it's, I actually quite like this one. It's a little bit bigger than Leslie's. But it gave me the idea anyway. And I didn't actually think, I was kind of like in the corner of my kitchen, there was kind of like a space. I wasn't sure what to do with it. But I thought, yes, getting some of like these flowers. And obviously having them kind of in there at that height, like that. Maybe have some taller than the rest. Obviously, I need to put some soil or something in there to kind of make them a bit higher up. And have them sticking up like that. That's quite nice. Again, sorry, can't remember the price of this at all. I think this was either... I think it might have been £5. Don't quote me on it, though. As I said, I wish I had the receipt, had the prices on it. Wilco's used to have put their prices on everything, but, oh, I can hear myself quite, ooh. <laughs> I used to be able to um, tell you the prices, but for the love of God, I can't, can't tell you the prices at all. Sorry, I'm mumbling my words. It's been a really long day. Yeah, so this is about between five and ten pounds. If anybody can find out the price, or I'll look on it and put, leave it in the comment below the price. But that's a bit, it's a really nice kind of tin, quite big. Look nice, it's gonna look nice sitting in the corner of my kitchen with them flowers. Yep, 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 I love that. And I think after this last one, I think it's just mainly cat food. And then I've got this little mug. All you need is love and your cat. <laughs> and on the back, it's got this little cute little cat face. Isn't that cute? This is a little smaller than what I thought it was going to be. On the inside, also a little cat face. But it says real gold, hand wash only. Oh, okay, this wasn't um, expensive either. 
I think this is about three or four pounds. But yeah, that's rather cute. All you need is love in your cat. So true. And then lastly, I have got these cat foods that I haven't seen in Walkos before. And they're the Natro Adult Cat Tuna Moses. 100% natural, made with natural ingredients. This is meant to be 80% tuna, chicken, beef, oil, minerals, terrine, and it's grain free. Again, I haven't seen these before at all. Got chicken mousse. Again, all natural percent, all natural ingredients. And that one is 80% chicken and beef. Then there's oils and minerals, taurine and grain free. Salmon mousse, 80% salmon, chicken, beef, oil, minerals, taurine and grain free. Just these little tubs. Well, say, well, I say little. They look very little to us, but obviously for a cat, really, you know, that's like either one really, really good meal or if you have a fussy cat like I have, excuse me, this would probably last her the day and she would nibble it over the day. I'm not too sure. She's got so fussy lately. She used to eat basically a lot of the stuff that I would put down to her. Then she's gone through phases of having one brand and then another brand and another brand. At the minute, I just can't find a certain brand. So in my cupboard, I've literally got all the brands of cat food you can think and all the different flavours. I have to kind of go through what I think that day she's going to eat. She's got so, so fussy. It doesn't help a lot that I do give her a lot of home cooked stuff like chicken, beef and things like that. So, yeah probably my own fault really so we're going to try this anyway because this is meant to be like natural all natural and this is the turkey so it's turkey mousse 80 percent turkey with chicken and beef oils mineral taurine grain free provides protein easily digested so gentle on the stomach which is good because my shadow has a very sensitive stomach very very sensitive so yes i haven't seen these before and these look really really good i think these were, well, oh, I'm so bad at guessing these prices, aren't I? I think they're about £1.50 each. I could be wrong. I will really have to maybe make comments below with all the... Go on to Wilco's and have a look for yourself anyway. These are new. Uh, I don't even think they were £1.50. They could have been like 50p each and I'm just thinking it's £1.50. As I said, they're quite a good size, really. They're tiny for us, but that's a good little size. And yes, hopefully... Shadow will like them because, as I said, she's become so so fussy, and I think that's it all, oh, folks. As I said, not a big Wilco haul. Sorry, I'm just opening up my dove bars. Not a big Wilco haul today, but yeah, I just wanted to get some more fake flowers for my garden and that jug. After watching Lizzie's video with her little jug at the background, oh, that looks quite nice. So I'm just opening up my bar of soap. Oh. I can smell it already. It smells luscious. I've not seen a pink dove bar. They've done these for a while. Does anybody know? Is this a new thing? Ooh, very pink. Look at that. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely baby pink. And it smells so strong. I just absolutely love dove soap. So yeah, I really only bought that because it was pink. I didn't really need any soap, but yes, I absolutely love it. Anyway, guys, let's get off the subject of pink soap so thank you all so much for watching yes as you can tell i'm a little bit crazy i think the 10 grandchildren must have like took my brain cells it's been a long day but thank you so so much for watching please like and subscribe please click the notification bell as you can hear bell <laughs> shadows in the background scratching our collar the bell nice timing shadow yeah, so please click the notification bell so you'll always receive my videos whenever they pop up on YouTube. Again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.